Welcome to another edition of STL TV Live. I'm your host, Sarah Thompson, and today on the show, we're joined by Dean Christopher and Gia Valenti, actors performing in the production of Chicago at the Muni. Yay. So we're going to get some behind the, inf behind the scenes information and mm -hmm. learn about the show. So Chicago, that's a favorite of everyone. Candor Done. and Ebb. What's that? It's Candor and Ebb. <laughs> Candor and Ebb. Candor and Ebb. And it went on screen, and now, of course, big it's hit. always big, big hit well, on screen. Yeah. So how does it feel uh, to... Yeah. Seeing, knowing that people have seen it on screen too, which brings it to a wider audience sometimes in theater, how does it feel to be doing it at the Muni? Uh, I, I think doing the show anywhere it would be a pleasure, but it's it's such a pleasure to do it at the Muni because mm -hmm. the Muni in St. Louis is such a sure. a tradition. It's such a history behind it. Uh, it it's great for me. It's yes. just terrific for and me. And you're playing the part of Amos. I'm playing the part of Amos Hart, which is Roxy Hart's husband. Mm -hmm. The character's not, uh, not the sharpest tool in the shed. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, I, I don't want, you know, some people might say he's a lovable loser. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't consider him a loser because I, I think he's really deep down inside. He, he's, he has a lot of heart to him and he loves Roxy. Yes. You know, uh, uh, when it comes down to it, he just loves her and would do anything for her. Right. Obviously, uh, when you see the, the so you have to draw on the positive as an actor to then portray the negative side. Well, too. there's <laughs> you know I think he has issues <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe with himself that are uh, self-imposed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. If That's that good makes way of sense. It. Yes, you I know, understand. I, uh, he just believes with all his heart that he's just nobody knows he exists. Nobody yeah. pays attention to him. Nobody. And I and I think and I think audiences, I think people, I think anybody would connect with this character, because I think everybody at one time in their life has felt that out of place, like I'm not being heard or I'm not sure, sure, uh, sure. being accepted or you know. Yeah, I think everybody no, has. Well, let's talk about <laughs> speak for myself. All right. So we're talking well, a lot I said most people. <laughs> Focusing TV. on the sort of the drama, if you will, and the acting, but let's talk about, I mean, this is obviously, it's a musical, and so Gia, talk about being part of the cast and the choreography and the set yeah, and what, that, our, what we're, that's like. We have very different experiences within the show. I mean, okay. He's um, primarily an actor-singer within mm -hmm. the show and a little movement, whereas I'm, we're dancing, mm -hmm. big, big, big dance numbers, and um, it's outstanding. I mean, it's amazing. The choreography's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, it is original. Our director, choreographer, created all of this on his own. So there are definitely aspects. It's, there's a lot of Fosse style dance sure. in it. He's obviously pulled from a lot of his, you know, experiences within um, Chicago. But um, it, it's outstanding. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. cool. Wonderful how many, choreography. How many people are in the cast total? Ooh, Forty-seven, I, I think he is said, there? including our St. Louis teenagers. Yes. Okay, and I didn't, awesome. I didn't realize that the choreography was completely original. I thought a lot of times that there was duplication, but that's that's really interesting. So Dennis Jones created this whole masterpiece from yes. start to finish on so, his own. So what people tell me what what are people going to see that they wouldn't see if they went to go see this in Chicago or Broadway in New York? What's obviously being at the Muni, it's going to be unique and being in an outdoor theatrical setting. But what stands out to you as something unique about this specific production? Other than yourself starring in it, of course. <laughs> what would be unique about it? Is there any Our spin on it or anything? I mean, we mentioned the choreography. Uh, well, well, you know, I think anybody who knows the show, mm -hmm. um, you know, the plot points and things are still the same, but I think every performance is different of a same show simply because of the people that perform it mm -hmm. and the director and choreograph or who will uh, who will put it together okay. and they put their spin on it, their take on it their ideas are more relevant and and so it changes all the time uh, I think Dennis different. Jones is brilliant with with what he's put on this stage and uh, it's and let's not forget when you see this in Chicago or New York mm -hmm. or wherever you see it they didn't rehearse it in nine and a half mm, days yes. Yes. so that, makes that is, a big that is yes. one thing that is definitely special and unique to just the Muni is that it is a literally a Broadway caliber quality show mm -hmm. with 
a very short amount of time of putting it together. Mm -hmm. so no, I think that's an excellent point. We're going to take a break because when we come back, I do want to get some behind the scenes what the rehearsals were like. So stick with us and stick with us at home. We're going to take a break, but we'll be back with more of Dean and Gia when we return. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Keep it locked right here on STL TV. We'll be right back in a second.